everyone and welcome to Miss Temple's apartment. Yay! So as you can see, I'm actually in my sister's childhood bedroom in my parents' house and I'm hanging with my doggy Leo. Say hi Leo! Hi! So today we are going to start our week by Yayoi Kasama, who is an artist from Japan. She's known for painting with dots and also making um, images that have dots as their designs. So we are going to start our week by reading a book by um, uh, by MoMA that is called From Here to Infinity. And then we are going to draw some of Yayoi's famous mushrooms. Yay! Right? Yay! And then, um, so we're going to need some paper, some pencils, whatever you have to color with. And then, um, we're gonna get ourselves together. I'm gonna get myself set up and I can't wait to see what we make. See you in a sec. Yayoi Kasuma, From Here to Infinity. Yayoi Kasuma was born in the country of Japan on an island of Hanshu in a town called Matsumoto City. An old palace made of wood and stone overlooked a moat where swans swam. The streets were lined with little shops and snow-capped mountains rose in the distance, swallowing up the sun as it went down in the evening. Yayoi's family owned nurseries where all kinds of flowers and vegetables grew and workers tended to plants as they matured from seeds to sprouts to stalks. But Yayoi yearned for a different life far from the countryside. She dreamed about what lie beyond the mountains in places far from Matsumoto City. She longed to leave home and see the world. Yayoi's mother wanted her to stay home and learn old-fashioned manners, how to dress elegantly, walk demeanorly, eat politely, and find a proper husband. But Yayoi wanted to be an artist. Every day she went outside with ink and brushes and paper. She drew things she saw and things she imagined. She looked closely at the pebbles that lined the riverbed and at the leaves and stalks of plants, and she drew them as changed of tiny cells that looked like dots. When she was older and studying in art school, her teachers disapproved of her work and they demanded that Yayoi paint in the traditional, precise Japanese style. She wanted to go where she could live without rules. When she was 28 years old, she packed up her silk kimonos and thousands of drawings and stuffed dollar bills into the toes of her shoes. It was her first airplane trip. There was only four other passengers and the weather was stormy with rain and lightning. The airplane wobbled and dripped as, the, as it flew to America. In New York, Yoyoi went to the top of the Empire State Building, the tallest building in the city full of tall buildings. When she looked down, she saw buses and cars and yellow taxis zooming up and down the avenues and bankers and teachers and artists rushing to work. From up on the 86th floor, they looked like dots. She felt very far from Matsumoto City and her mother's rules. Here, it seemed like anything was possible. Yayoi set about turning her drawings of dots into paintings. The dollar bills that she had brought to America quickly ran out and she spent what money she had left on paints and canvases. She worked day and night. She painted when she was cold. She painted when she was hungry. She painted when she was lonely and she turned her dots into sculptures too into soft stuffed tubes that covered sofas and chairs and boats. She was devoted to her dots. For her, they were a way of thinking about the world among the stars as one dot among millions of others. They were a way of thinking about infinity. Sometimes when she grew frustrated, she visited the Museum of Modern Art. She gazed at paintings by other artists and she thought about why and how they were made. She looked at paintings of dancing girls and swirling night skies, trying to solve them as if they were puzzles. Her paintings seemed so different for those she had seen at the MoMA. When she at last was ready to show her work in public, she invited all of her friends she had made in New York. When she arrived at the gallery, a crowd was spilling onto the sidewalk. Her friends lifted her in the air, shouting, Yo, yo, you've finally done it. 
Word about her artwork spread quickly. Her friends told their friends, newspapers wrote about her work, and reporters clamored to interview her about her dots. Now she began to show them in other cities all around the United States and Europe. Her dots were covering the world. They appeared in Venice in thousands of dot-shaped mirrors scattered along a big green lawn or a pumpkin on a pier. On dresses and t-shirts, on people walking down the street, and in mirrored rooms where glowing dots were reflected and reflected again, an infinity of dots. So cool. Having visited many countries all over the world, Yayoi returned to Japan. The country had changed since she left, with many different artists challenging the old traditional style as Yayoi had been doing all along. She still lives in Japan and she continues to paint her dots every day. Now, here are some examples of her work. Notice that they all have some form of dots in them. This is that fuzzy chair with tubes. And this is the room that mirrored millions of times. This is my personal favorite. It's a kitchen and living room, like an apartment with dot stickers. She had an installation in New York where you could put the stickers all over. It was so cool. And this is a picture of Yayoi Katsuma. Um, that's it. What a beautiful book. Okay, so I am set up. I have my pencil. I have my Sharpie marker in thin. And I also have a thick one just in case I want to use it. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm going to use crayons or colored pencils or color sticks yet, but I'll make my, my mind up as soon as I start drawing. So we are going to be drawing a mushroom today from Yayoi Kusama. And um, we are going to use dots to make them have designs. So let me just grab this. Okay. So we're gonna make a picture that has a bunch of mushrooms. Um, so what we're gonna start with is a kind of nose shape, I guess. So it's down, starts down, makes like a wiggle, and then does the same thing on the other side. And we're gonna connect those together. Now this isn't in the middle of your paper. It's not at the side of your paper. It's just kind of on your paper. Um, you can put it wherever you want. You can make it going the other way. That's what makes this kind of fun. So what's gonna happen now is underneath, we're gonna connect two lines that are gonna be connected to a line here. Next up, we're gonna make a wiggly line. See how it's a curved line, almost like an S. See it? On this side, we're gonna make it get thicker. So that's the bottom part of our mushroom. We're gonna erase this line that we made here. And we're gonna make that line kind of match this, but a little bit less uh, severe. So we're gonna go like this. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna make a th group of three um, mushrooms right here. We're gonna start with a, U sh a rainbow shape, cut that off on the bottom, and then we're gonna make it kind of chunky on the bottom like this. So it's a U, and two, I'm gonna make another one that's a little bit taller with that same U shape. We're gonna make a small triangle with curved sides. Ooh, I'm starting to like this. 
Then on this side, we're gonna do a curve like this, just like a little bit less that goes behind this one. We're gonna make it close like that. So it's that same U shape, but a little bit weirder. And we're gonna make the same kind of shape here. If it goes off the page, that's okay. Mine's gonna go off the page. Perfect, feeling pretty good about that. I'm gonna add one more mushroom right here, and then we will add our spots. So same shape here, but it's gonna be facing upwards. We're gonna connect that to something down here. Just like that. Make it so it connects there. And we're gonna connect, make a design there. Ooh. Looking nice. Okay, so now, on the top of all of these uh, mushrooms, on the tops, we're gonna add some circles, so, or her dots. So I'm gonna make a bunch of dots. So first they're gonna be circles of different sizes. Not too big. And notice how I'm going slowly, trying to make a bunch of circles fit, and I'm not going in a straight line. Okay, that's first. Now with these, I'm gonna make them go in a line. And they're gonna fan out. So as they get further away, they're gonna get closer, and maybe smaller. If they're not all perfect, that's okay. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. looks good. Okay, now we're going to do circles that get smaller as they get to the sides. So we'll do one line in the middle and circles that get smaller next to them. You can do dots. Oh, I made a mistake. So even Miss Temple makes mistakes. They just have to be smaller than this. And then they can be dots. Beautiful. We're gonna go to the next one, making our circles that are all different sizes, maybe three different sizes. I'm going kind of fast. You guys should take your time. Same thing here, bigger towards the top. And they're gonna get smaller. Okay, now, on the bottom of this one, it's a little bit different than what we did here. It's gonna be more like um, like the lines in the road. So we're gonna go like,
and see how I'm making these like square rectangle-y shapes. Sometimes she didn't use circles. We're gonna do the same thing here. And then she does like this. And in the middle, it's like a teardrop shape. Cool, I like that one best. Okay, next up are these guys. Now you can make them however you want. I'm gonna make them this way. And I'll speed this up so you don't have to watch me keep doing this. Okay, so now I am going to make a background. Um, what Kasu Kusama did was um, she would make these wiggly lines. That went all over. And then she would connect making these like abstract triangle kind of situations. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna speed this up and go over in Sharpie marker. I don't know if I'm gonna actually color mine in, but we'll get there when we can. But I want you to color yours in. Um, so because I am looking for the most colorful images to put on my Instagram, because I want to make the Instagram look great. So I'm gonna do this, speed up my um, Sharpie marker, and then I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so that is the finished product of Yayoi uh, Kusama um, of her mushroom picture. Um, I stopped and then finished because it was taking too long and I felt like you guys were going to get bored. So what I want you to do is color your mushrooms and then send them to me and I cannot wait to put them on Instagram. So you can send your pictures to me on Instagram at Miss Temple's apartment. You can send them to me at Miss, at uh, my email htemple at schools.nyc.gov or you can just dojo them to me. I can't wait to see what you make and I hope you had a good time. I'll see you later.